go ahead and add the steak to the veggies. All right guys, it is our last night here out in New Mexico and we are going out with a bang. Um, Casey and I both shot elk with our bow in the last week. So we are going to make a cheese steak sandwich. This is comparable to like a Philly steak and cheese. But instead we're gonna use elk meat and some vegetables that we have already chopped up. Okay, we've already got our food prepared. We've chopped up part of a backstrap off of Casey's elk. Uh, we marinated that for a few hours in just some soy sauce and steak seasoning. And we've got three peppers, a yellow pepper, orange pepper, and red pepper. We've already got those chopped up with onion and just a little bit of green chili. So we're gonna get this thing started. guys we've got some hot oil heated up in the camp chef skillet so we're gonna go ahead and dump the onions in there and get them started with the peppers all right the only thing we're gonna add for a spice is just a little bit of pepper on the vegetables While the vegetables are cooking up, getting sauteed, we're gonna go ahead and throw the steaks on the griddle side. That's one thing we love about this little Camp Chef Rainier is you can have a pan and a griddle going at the same time. got the everything's cooking it's looking great we're about halfway done the vegetables are gonna take close to 10 minutes um, we like them really soft so we're just gonna cook those on a medium to low and uh, our steaks are gonna take about seven to eight minutes and we like a medium rare right the way the steak is supposed to be so let's go ahead and get those flipped over All right, it took a little bit of patience, but we were patient enough to cook the vegetables just perfect. Everything smells good, looks good, and uh, we're ready to add the meat into the vegetable mix. So we cooked the meat, just the medium rare. Uh, the pan's been turned off for a while because it's gonna get some additional cooking once it's in with the vegetables. Go ahead and add the steak to the veggies. It's not a steak and cheese sandwich without some melted cheese. So the last step is just to go ahead and put some uh, shredded cheese in the mix and let that melt right in. Last thing you need to do is just serve it on a bun. Um, you can use any bun or bread that you prefer. We just got some hard rolls, but the better the roll, 
the better the steak and cheese sandwich. Right, there you have it guys. Uh, this is an organic meat steak and cheese sandwich. This came off the elk that we harvested out here in the mountains. And uh, just like we always say, just because you're out here camping and you don't have a lot of uh, equipment, all you need is a small Camp Chef stove. You don't have to eat garbage when you're out here. You can eat great when you're outdoors. Get yourself a Camp Chef and enjoy your next meal. Better than it looks. <laughs> so good. Mm.